so the attempt here is gonna do an edit and live livestream, just gonna edit we midnight attendees video uh, and basically live stream it so I can show off and hopefully uh, attempt to teach um how to how well how I do the midnight attendees editing video uh, hopefully it can be information helpful to people. So let's get started. Uh, so first up the project is gonna be like you'll select the theme. I don't care about the theme, I'm gonna get rid of all of that. Uh, and then by game today's video being edited is going to be a central fiction video. Um I got a few clips lying around. I am specifically after these two clips today because this is from a nice wee short session and a I do so um I need to give it a name so let's I, I'm no good at naming things so I usually just give some really, like really stupid code names. Yeah you know what just BBC if them that will be this project's name why not uh, right, so starting off, some games like BBCF get and have this annoying border. How you erase that? You just, you just zoom in a little bit. Just 111 percent should be good. Uh, and I, there we go. So that's that. Uh, right, next stop. So music is a thing that is needed. The way the I record the the group videos. No, that is not where I want that music. Get all the way back. So when I record with the headset, all I capture is my audio. So Put like, so in the hug. Ah, fuck it. We're listening. To yeah, the I'm time. talking about like whatever in that menu bit there. Cool. It's cool. And then, uh, if we get the music. In fact, actually, I'll take prioritise off of that because I'm a bit of a quieter fuck compared to most other people, so that's generally a better idea. Should come up? Well, I, don't oh, know. I can't believe it. Remix it. I'm like a whole ass conversation with people, so yeah, I have to use Audacity because Audacity is what I personally use and recommend to record audio. So basically, the way it works is I put on the recording on the PS4. And that's when I start recording. And then like the second after I start recording on PS4, I'll put on the Audacity recording to record the audio of everyone else and then you know it goes along and you know recording happens and then when I decide I've recorded enough footage for a wee clip I will if I can just scroll to the end I'll pretty much uh, stop the Audacity recording and then stop the PS4 recording uh, it does leave there's is like a little bit of love good room usually left so I need to like move the audio around and make sure it's synced up properly and this is probably one of the hardest parts of editing um, because you got to like find y you know you got to wiggle it around find the perfect sync sometimes it might be a second or two off in some videos uh, and how we do this is we look for conversations in the video where the part of me being recorded and everyone else is recording kind of matches up and it makes sense so like uh, actually, you know, let's just start looking for it, and I'm sure the examples will hopefully show them. So, so. Uh, <laughs> oh no! Uh, but I wouldn't have had the match in. Yeah, right. That right. That's my confidence, right? Because we got just before the Astro, right? Zeno is clearly excited just about to Astro me. Just after it, you can hear Yao being like, "Wow, right, that I got astro So with that, and plus the previous stuff I saw, I am very confident that. This audio is synced up well, I don't need to worry about it. That clip's done, it's clear, we're all cool with that cash money. Right, now we go on to clip 2, in which I just slap in. Right, so, that's the boring part over, now we have the kind of boring part aftermath, transitioning into a not so boring part. This is where we click on the save video. When I save the video, uh, you will have a version of the video saved with the, uh, you know, the audios synced together perfectly, which means I can go around cutting the video up without any worry whatsoever. And that is exactly what I want, because this is where the fun part comes in, uh, where you just get to cut out all the eh kind of stuff, or even all the good fun meme stuff. And that is the process of how the video will be made. 
So anyway, once we've synced up the audio and the video is now being processed, we go into new project again, uh, get all that out, and then go to most recent. Now I've just been recording some stuff here. Don't mind that. What we want is the saved new processed video. So we go into that, rename it something, and here we go. We now have the video that has the two audios synced. So now we can just get to pushing the square button and using the split clip or trim clip uh, to just cut up the video as we please. It should be noted that you can pretty much get straight to this part if you're uh, like recording on like PSN chat and everyone has a headset, it's just for the interest of Discord. Right, but before going into splitting the video, time to find ourselves a good way to record. Now, one thing you can do is you can get an image that you find on your computer or whatever, you know, do some Google image search and, you know, find a good image, bring it in, that's cool and all, but finding an image of the right size and getting it to fit in, eh, it can be kind of annoying and honestly I'm a little bit lazy, so what I like to do with recent end records is find something related to the game, like a background, so you know, we got the, we got a nice bit of the old gate here, just crop it right so we've not got any numbers or anything, so uh, you know, a nice wee shot of the old gate. And then what I would do is just like push the record button for like a few seconds. So yeah, after recording for a few seconds we can go out, you know, have the screen be as it is. And then if we just go to add clip, we will have our clip here. So we just zoom in. Uh, yep, that's fine. And here we go. We have our intro card background and then we just kind of go in here and import the correct images of all the people this is just a good thing to go into the text duration to make sure every little bit is fully shown throughout the whole intro card and now we just get some appropriate music and trim it down because obviously we don't need all oh, this of the music over there. And yeah, that's pretty much what we need. And there we go, now we have a re intro card at the start of the video. As you can see from the end card, it's made in a very similar way. You know, we've just got the sprites, the main and attendees at the bottom, text at the top, uh, you know, background, and then we've got the music uh, added to it. So, anyway, just showing it off the intro and end card. Now, the actual video itself, you know. So, basically, what I do is I watch through the entire. <laughs> the entire footage and then, you know, I'll keep going back and forth between bits to decide, right, what do I want in the video, what do I not want in? It's gonna work, watch. Oh, you're gonna try to play Jager against- oh. Right, so I think we're on about here, the 4, 17, 4, 18 bit. And, he and I could just, like, turn that, but also, a good thing to use is look at what's happening on the screen. So I'm wanting the screen when the, the menu timer's at 28, so I'm using 20 or 27 like as my guide point right so then we just nudge right 28 right so let's see it's gonna work watch oh you're gonna try to play Jager against oh watch it no. circles delay <laughs> whoa zombie awesome. the what a ball <laughs> what a ball it's gonna work watch oh you're gonna try to play Jager against oh Right, so I think this is all I really need of this clip, so sadly now I do need to use the split clip and use up one of our splits. Um, also, normally in a video I usually like just do all my splits before adding in sprites, but I guess for this one specific clip I'll show in how I go about adding in sprites, so let's watch this clip. Again, I know it might seem tedious, but trust me this is how the editing do really be like. It's gonna work, watch. Oh, yeah. Right, so we've got this wee second. Hold on. It's gonna work, watch. Right, so from the end of the fourth second to the start of the sixth second, we got yeah, alright. So what we do, add overlay, go to imported images. So yeah, I, th I think this is a, a, a sort of one off emotional sprite, so we're gonna have yeah, here. Uh, we're just gonna. 
we just plop him there. I think that's a good reposition. And oh, why did I move that? Right, so it was the end of the fourth second to the start of the sixth. So about there, and it's gonna work. Watch. Oh, you know, I think the I don't know. I feel like the the, the smug one. Like, okay, this bit here, you know, I want to start showing off the next clip from here, so again, trim clip, and let's get to that 77 second mark that was on the top of the screen. Next, is this where I want it? How are you doing combos in this Hmm, and then, see, sometimes we just get nice speed decisions here, like, where do I want to end this clip, because I could do just have the clip be like, in this I don't believe you. And I could end the clip there and go into the next clip, or do I just have that extra wee second or two? Don't worry, don't worry, I got this. Don't worry, I got this. You know, I'm leaving that in. I always like it when Yato says that he's got this as he proceeds to just, you know, die. If you're Yato, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, but it's kind of the truth. Also, I, was, I, I just realised, right, I can't help but notice. And that this is the joy of editing, because you come across, like, fun stuff like this. I don't know, I'm just amused by Tager's Facer. In fact, you know, thumbnail potential? Like, hold on. Is that, This is how I do some of my thumbnails as well, because I, I guess I could show this off, even though I don't know if that I'm actually going to use this as a thumbnail or not, but like, potentially. So we could have something like this, uh, you know, we kind of just zoom in on Tager, and then, you know, add Sprite, so... Now this isn't a promised thumbnail, this, this is just a potential one, for example, so let's say we have something like... So yeah, this is like... quite potential example what a thumbnail could like you know. But yeah, it's worth knowing for the thumbnail thing that generally what I found is if you screenshot like the thing I was kind of showing off and then you pretty much like crawl, I, I don't know, let me zoom in, so uh, I don't know, other hypothetical thumbnail, let's just say the thing was going to be this zooming in nine, right? So hold the, you know, hold your button to take a screenshot uh, put on your USB stick, put on the computer, open the, the screenshot up in paint, and then you would literally like crop where the rectangle of, uh, you know, the, 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 the picture of the screen is, and the, sh the size and shape of that rectangle will pretty much be enough to be like, more or less like a perfect um, thumbnail, YouTube thumbnail size. Uh, but yeah, I think I've shown all the essential stuff of how I go about the process, because from here on out I would just go along the video watching it, trimming to where I want, splitting the clips, getting rid of what I don't want, keeping the clips I do want, and then going all along till I have a desired video. But yes, after doing all the splitting and trimming, uh, we now have a fully completed video with that 47 minutes is now at 6 and a half minutes and it'll be more or less ready to go up on youtube.com, I mean obviously I've still got to add the sprites and but uh, you know, just do that, I'll go along and do that. But uh, I think all the essential stuff for how I make a video in Share Factory for the midnight attendees has been shown off. If there's any questions people have, you can put them in the, descri the description, no, you can put them in the comments below. Uh, and I will try my best to answer the questions because I, I know I'm definitely not the best tutorial advice guy. And uh, yeah, w when this video is completed, uh, the way we linked it in the description and card if you want to see what this example video looks like in its finalised form. But yeah, so I, I think that does it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, hopefully uh, I was helpful in some way, shape, or form.